Well, welcome to another farm, another week. We've got Matt touring us around today. Thanks for having us, Matt. Yeah, thanks, Andrew, for coming, yeah. And so, Matt, you are a chicken farmer. Broiler chickens. Broiler chicken. So what's a broiler chicken? Broiler is meat chicken. Meat chicken. Yeah. So all your chickens, we're going to go in the barn in just a minute. Yep. All your chickens are destined for chicken breast, Swiss chalet, McDonald's. anything, McDonald's, yep. any of those types yep. of places. Yep. So now, as I stand here, though, and I'm looking in the camera, I see a lot of stuff behind us. Yeah. What are we looking at? So right here, Andrew, this is our main switches for all our fans, our heaters, our feed lines, our misting system for the summertime when it's hot, and our light controls. Um, these are all controlled by our computer, which so, is, looks after all the environmental controls in the barn. Like heat, humidity, lighting, all that kind of stuff? That's right. Yeah. So now, what how what does a chicken like it to, for comfort-wise? Do they like it warm, cold? Well, when uh, they first come in, it's about 91 degrees. Whoa, and, they like it really quite warm. And every day, the computer keeps dropping them back a little okay. bit, like a half a degree, three-quarters of a degree. And right now in the barn, it's about 77, 75, right in that area. Yeah, and they like it. So it's a lot nicer than it is outside oh, yeah. on a day like this. Yeah. Let's see what's inside the barn. Okay, Andrew, when you get in here, we don't want to disturb the chickens and like any quick movements or anything. We're just going nice and slow so we don't get them jumping up on top of each other. But they are pretty good. So. Quiet and peaceful. They're not used to a lot of company. No, not really. No, so we want to keep them that way. Okay, we'll do that. Now, you were talking about those fans earlier. We've okay. got one right above your head, obviously. So yeah, the ones over our heads, uh, these are circulating fans. So it just takes the air and just keeps continually mixing it in the racetrack kind of form right now. Mm -hmm. As you see in the center of the barn, right in the top here, we have our two heaters. There's four of these uh, down the center of the barn. And that's what the, that's where all it comes from. Just keeps it warm that yep. way. So that, and then the lights, now, I mean, it's a, it's a little darker in here than it is outside. Yeah. Like, is there is there a reason for that? Is there a control for that? Like I said, it's just, so it doesn't take much to spook them. Really, so. No, it doesn't. Anyway, we like to keep it just a little bit dim, and uh, it just keeps them a little calmer. But you can see, like, they're, they're up, they're oh, drinking, they're eating. They're quiet. Now, what are we looking at down on the ground here? So, Andrew, like, when you come in in the morning, really, you want to take a look at the manure and just see, just, like, it's, it, it's, relatively dry really now not a lot of people in their day job go and pick up <laughs> chicken manure <laughs> it's a daylight yeah. but this is actually something you want to do we don't necessarily pick it up andrew but you can tell just by walking yeah. it, and it and if it's sticking to your shoes really bad yeah. it's you know it's getting a little tacky and maybe there's some controls you can adjust the computer to try maybe maybe we'll bring on some more fans or maybe we'll, and just to get some more air movement yeah so there's a lot of little details that come with raising these birds oh yeah yeah it's uh yeah it's quite a bit yeah. okay and then this here in front of us so this is what this is where the chickens get their water and uh, they're called nipple drinkers and all the chicken does is touch that and the water will come oh. out so it just holds there and they I can have a drink see. actually there's a few drinking up there yep and then what's the yellow things here? So the yellow things, we can just actually stand up and just take a little look at it. I just want to step over. So, so this is the chicken feed right here. This is what they're eating. It's a pellet. It comes from uh, Wallenstein. Wallenstein Feed delivers all our, they're their suppliers for our feed. And uh, yeah. what's what's in that pellet then? So it'd be like soy meal, uh, corn, wheat. It's basically based on the age of the bird, how they're growing, all yep. that kind of stuff. Exactly, and uh, like these are these are an RWA flock, which is raised without antibiotics. So that's what. Oh, okay. So there's a different formulation for different uh, feeding programs for doing that. So that's one thing that you hear more and more all the time. Yeah. What would be the difference between, like, obviously they're not given an antibiotic any time through no. the cycle. Is there a way you control disease in the barn, or how do you do that? It's we can give them antibiotics, but they'll go to they won't go to the antibiotic line. They'll go to a commercial chicken something else. Yeah. So if they're sick, you're still going to treat them. We have to. Yeah. It's not right to let them suffer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's the augers, I'm assuming. Yep. That's right. Yeah. The feed line just started up again here. So yeah, you can see the feed has dropped. It'll be a while before it gets down to this end, but you can see the feed's starting to drop in the pans as it comes along. And yeah. And they know that sound too. They, they always 
start gathering around the feed bins. Really? Too. Yeah, they are too. Yep. Now in terms of, I mean, obviously these birds are inside the barn, I'm assuming yep. all the time. Yeah. Um, why would you, why is that important to keep a bird inside? We, we want to keep them inside because we can control the perfect environment for them to grow in. We control the heat, the ventilation, the water, the proper feed, the proper ration of feed they need, all that. Clean drinking water, uh, good bedding, dry bedding. It's it's all part of the whole mm -hmm. whole thing. It keeps keeps them really safer, probably too. Right. Yeah, right. Like yeah. They, From... like a day like today, if they got wet outside and tonight was down to minus one, they wouldn't survive. Yeah, they wouldn't last no. at all. No, 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 they're not. They're not built to do. They they yeah. really are. They've been raised and bred for the purpose of food. Exactly. And yep. it's trying to optimize them and keep them healthy that right. whole period of time. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. And if they do good, we do good. Yeah. yeah. Right? So now, you said before it's about 43 or 44 days yep. before these uh, chickens are ready. Yep. I know that I've heard over the last little while concern that maybe that's too short, but really, that's what this breed of chickens meant to do. Right. And you're you're looking after them on a regular basis to make sure nothing does go wrong. Right, exactly. But it's so short, like there's different crops that you can get in chickens. Like you can grow a smaller bird, like different processors, different restaurants, different end users, uh, the big food chains and stuff. They might want smaller breasts or they might want a quarter chicken dinner that's a certain size. Yeah. So like ours, we got a bigger bird. We're growing a few, almost three kilo bird. And our end user wants that's a big breast, they want that a big, big, breast, yeah. big white yeah. breast, and that's because that's the size they want. Yeah. So it really is meeting the demands of whatever right. the customer says. So, right. yep. so now you said earlier that really, I mean, you know, you, your wife, your dad, your your boys, like this is a family farm, yep. and people can support a family farm, which I don't think people would think of by going to McDonald's and buying chicken. Yeah. You buy a McChicken, it yep. could be supporting you and other family farmers. Could be. Isn't Probably that is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, appreciate the tour today, Matt. Yeah, no problem, Andy. Thank you very much for coming. So I'd say not a bad tour for uh, Chicken Barn, something I'd never seen, but I just couldn't help myself. When Matt said that his chickens could be heading into McDonald's, I had to, I had to stop and get myself one of them. So once again, thanks for the tour, Matt. Bottoms up, everybody. Thanks for watching.